Since I'm sitting on top of a gigantic battery, it makes a lot of sense for me to charge my laptop MacBook Pro 13 inch using the car battery. It is currently being plugged in through this basis car charger, which is right here. with power delivery port type-c and a usb additional a usb port so i can also use this thing to you know keep my phone charged this is a very long power delivery cable like that my battery is at 51 percent and according to this coconut battery app it's at 37 watts charging speed there are also other ways you can use this car charger for example you can also use it with a power station as long as there is a 12 volt socket let me show you power bank like a jackery with a 12 volt socket of course there is the existing power delivery port but uh, it's nice to have additional one if you want to you know connect it to multiple devices the output wattage is displayed on the screen it will gradually go up the charging voltage and amperage is also displayed on the screen as well as the internal battery voltage it will cycle through in the screen 13.2 volts that's the battery voltage 20.2 volts is the output to the macbook pro and 2.13 amps is the current there's a 43 43 watts of output Of course, you can always connect more devices to this charger. This is a 22.5 watts battery bank from Basis. The power output is 55 watts, 58 watts. Just want to quickly show, just want to show you guys it is totally safe to use it to charge the iPhone as the charging speed is determined at the iPhone level and not here. So the maximum you can do to a phone is about 12 watts. Now let's verify its maximum power output per port. I know for a fact that the Jackery may take 60 watts of input. I'm using my new battery bank to charge the Jackery using this 12 volt car uh, charger. And you can see the power output here from this device into the Jackery. It's almost 50 watts, 49 watts. All right, now let's max it out. Looks like this um, power delivery port can only do uh, a maximum of 50 watts from that power uh, type C port. Let me connect an iPad with M1 chip, 11 inch, just to make sure I can max out. Uh, I'm, at, I'm looking at uh, 60 watts, and this one is still sitting at uh, 49 watts. So that's the maximum power output I was, get, I was able to get from this charger. That's 60 watts.